Hello, Leslie. Welcome. Hello, Faith. Hello, Alison. Welcome. Hello, Barbara. Well, I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> I've tried to have a feedback for some from someone, but no one answered. Part of Leslie. I think everything is working fine. We are in San Pantaleo. You already been on this tour? And last time. Ciao. Hello. Hello, Jean. Welcome on board. Hello, Jez. So, welcome everyone, hope everything is okay. We are in San Pantaleo, we going to have a tour around the town and see some nice uh, old houses, <clears throat> a lot of flowers, and the church. I hope you will enjoy the place, okay? So if you have any questions, just ask me. Okay. Enjoy. So this is a mostly a postcard tour.
Can you hear me, Barbara? Okay, great. Okay, I don't know if the connection is on. Uh, I hope you can hear me. As you can see, in San Pantaleo, uh, people love so much uh, flowers and plants. There are cactus everywhere, uh, small gardens.
paradise bird flower. The church bell tower. San Pantaleo is also called the, uh, the town of the artists because there is a, a lot of artist shops here. They uh, make some of those sculptures and uh, artistic installations. Like this bench here. Yeah, last that could be a nice idea to give some color. <clears throat> Or you just could add some uh, cushions. Yeah, that's the color you had in mind, Lasta. Bright blue, light blue. Yeah. This is more of a cobalt blue.
Hello, Linda, Joy, and Dared. Welcome aboard. So this small town is uh, part of the Olbia territory, even if it's, uh, it has its own territory. And uh, the first traces of people living here is around the 13th century. But then the actual town was founded in uh, 1980. 1893. <clears throat> there is a collective of artists living here, so they uh, build all sorts of things, artisanal, and um, they also sell, some of them also sell online. The vast majority of those houses are on uh, uh, you can uh, rent them during the summer. There are around 2,000 uh, people living all year round here, but during the summer uh, population can grow up to uh, 15,000. Another art piece here. So, Vlasta, you mean uh, touristic uh, infrastructure? There are several hotels here and bed and breakfast and uh, country uh, hotels. Ah, the water. Yeah, um, we actually have any problem. I know that some um, regions in Italy are um, somehow mm, declaring that uh, there is a uh, water problem, but, you know, uh, sometimes uh, news tend to exaggerate, so never listen to the news. <laughs> or never trust the news. <sighs> Cost of the rent during the summer. Well, <laughs> could be very um, variable. It depends on uh, the proximity of the, the beaches. Let's say that uh, if the house you want to rent is uh, near the sea, by the way, San Pantaleo is 10 minutes away from the first beach. 
15 minutes away, it depends on the traffic. And so, during the month of um, July and August peak season, the rent could be six, uh, let's say around 6,000 euros per week for the smallest uh, apartment. Hello Kim, welcome. Then it depends on uh, the kind of apartment or if it's a villa, obviously the price could go up really quick. It is one of the, of the oldest houses in town, as you can see it's Ruin. I won't go inside because it's too dangerous. The main uh, entrance, the stones are not secured. Everything is made with granite stone, local stone.
no Linda we are in the central area but this is yeah, really quiet because you know until April March April uh, only uh, around 2,000 uh, people lives here so that's why the place is so uh, peaceful Hello Beata and Kelly <laughs> How are you, Beata? Laundry self service. Hello, Riley. Very well, very well. Nice sunny day. We have 68 degrees, so I'm just wearing the t-shirt. Finally, we are um, entering the spring atmosphere. Just light wind. Flowers are starting to bloom. garden is growing. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> Yeah, for some. The mountains behind the town. <laughs> medical facilities so you have uh, two great hospitals in Olbia half an hour from here and a lot of doctors uh, in the area so shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> And also some emergency services in the area of Arzaken and Porto Cervo. Uh, Hobbit's house door. Hobbit's house gate. Made with juniper wood. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, Linda, Robert. Thank you very much, Joy. I really appreciate your help. Thanks. Hello, Yoni. Hello. Chaska, hello. Never heard that name. Are you new to Ego or to my tours? See, the gardens are really well maintained. Oh. This should be a peach tree. I'm not sure if it's a peach or an uh, almond tree. Wow. Hello, Tony. Welcome to San Pantaleo. Should be a peach. Guy Tan, hello. Fantastic.
Are you still there? Can see any comment? Hope you're appreciating the the tour. Hello, Marie. Hi. Ciao. How are you today, Marie? Oh, Tracy. Hi. Welcome to San Pantaleo. DNB, hello. This is one of the angles I love the most. A bit noisy today, but they are working on restoring a old house. Lots of bugs. This one is sleeping inside the flower. <sighs> Thanks for the collaboration. You see? Well, let's move on. works. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Jazz, for the support. Grazie mille. Hello, Kate and Vicky. Welcome on board. Ciao.
Hello, Bea. Welcome. Really nice iron work up there. Can I ask a feedback on postcards? <laughs> Thanks, Marie. <laughs> this is why I try not to be online uh, before uh, 12. I don't want to wake you up and uh, force you to get out of the bed uh, too early. Thanks for following Chaska. A really small and old house here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jazz. Hello, Cheryl. What time is it on your in your country? Two hundred and seventy-two. Wow, a lot. So here we are on the central uh, square. Seems there are some bars that are opening. Eight seventeen, Canada. Oh, Toronto. Hello, Jen. Eight fifteen, Jazz. Hi. This is Central Bar Cafe Nina in San Pantaleo. Eight fifteen. It's uh, twenty past one here. We will see the central square uh, in some minutes. Micro window. <laughs> with iron work so tiny really small up there you see the size of a flower pot A boutique that will be open for the summer. Wonderful uh, balconies and terraces with so many plants and flowers. Domomea Omware, this is a gift shop. Uh, house. Uh, furnitures. Uh, most of them are homemade 
and made and made sardinian baskets made with vegetal fibers like canes this is typical from sardinia domo mea on where very nice hello maria and mickey welcome thanks for joining hello nikki here works going on Foresta G uh, Omware and uh, Main Street here. Yeah. Wonderful details. Art Gallery, Scuba Fish Art. Another one. Another artistic installation, the original scene by Scuba Fish. <clears throat> Start of the high season, I 
more or less, um, let's say, around peak season is July and August. So, uh, I mean, until June, it's still okay to come here and have a peaceful place to wander around. But then uh, July, August, it's a total mess. Personally, I would prefer, uh, I would suggest come here, uh, let's say May, April, May, and the first half of June. <clears throat> Pope John the second statue here. Amy Victoria, hello. Thank you for joining us in San Pantaleo. I've seen some tourists already. What is that building? A church. That's the central church um, here with the church house on the side. 1903. The construction of the church has been requested by people living here around in the countryside uh, around 1893. Then the church has been built 1903. Wow, what a sky today with those streaming clouds. Wow. We're going to enter the church. I don't know if there's a mass service actually, but I don't think. All tales. Ah, yeah, glorious sky. So the church is dedicated to San Pantaleo, the patron of the town. Bronze portal. The church is very simple. Um, the church, anyway, has been built upon another uh, small chapel that was already uh, here, dating back to the 13th century. <clears throat> Let's see if the connection is okay inside the church. Hello, Julie. Yeah, I agree, Beata.
Thank you, DNB. So here we are in the central square. <clears throat> Some boutiques all around the square. Hello, Rachel. Chantal Boutique. They are preparing to opening for the season. Bell Tower. And a small restaurant here. Mixture of modern and uh, really old. This is a um, milling stone. How do you call this? It's like, uh, you see those holes here? Uh, some uh, wood uh, handles. Grinding stone, yeah, for olive oil or for grain or for wet or uh, cereal grinding yeah. basalt stone this is volcanic stone really ancient probably dating back to the 5th or 6th century majestic mountains on the back there are a lot of hiking trails up there. Millstone, mill or grinding stone, yeah. Granite outcrops, gigantic granite outcrops. Sometimes someone get lost up there. Also, climbing activities, excursions. A lot of opportunities of uh, nature, enjoy the nature up there. So we have uh, seen more or less the central area. Uh, it seems to me that today the the two has been shorter than usual, but thank
Thank you so much, Cheryl. Yeah. I mean, I love this place and I want all of you to uh, share and uh, explore it with me because it's really peaceful and calm and uh, full of nice things. old houses juniper tree Really nice things hanging from the trees. Gardens everywhere, flowers. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> and Beata, Elena, <clears throat> welcome Elena, <laughs> thank you Jess. Have you took any postcard jazz? Oh, wow, 601, oh, wow. Mr. Lizard. So we have been all around the center of the town.
Yeah, I think this is for cooking or for heating, maybe. Heating. Campos. Here is informative sign. People playing chess. Sardinian natural uh, plants. Yeah, windows and doors are fascinating. Hello, Olga. It's really a strong heritage here, and I hope it won't be lost because the, those old houses have uh, histories. People lived so many stories. It would be a shame to lost them. Yeah, some door seems really small, yeah. This is one of the 
highest houses I have seen here in San Pantaleo. Three floors, not usual. Yeah, I definitely would live in San Pantaleo. Would you? What's this nasty cloud? <laughs> Please go away. Antiques and works of art. You see, you are 10 minutes away from uh, the first beach, 15 minutes away from Arzakena, where you have uh, all sorts of things, supermarket and uh, whatever you need. Then you are 25 minutes away from Olbia, a medium-sized city, so What's the problem living here? <laughs> Seems like an open air museum, quiet. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, they recycled a lot, especially the artists. Oh, Nikki. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's clean. Uh, no one wants to... Uh, Uh, leave anything all over the place because it's so quiet and uh, especially during the winter no one's around so it's easy to keep it clean but uh, same thing during the summer because uh, I found that um, visitors are becoming more and more uh, respectful of the nature. More respectful of nature and beauty, so it's becoming 
easier and easier to keep the place uh, clean. Ah, it's a shame, but uh, it's easy to understand that uh, people acting like this uh, just uh, uh, don't understand they are going uh, against their own interests. That's the more difficult thing to uh, understand for uh, this uh, kind of person. I hope they won't have to regret uh, this kind of um, acting uh, one day. <laughs> Hello, Mary and Lisa. Oh, welcome. Well. A last view from the central area, then I will uh, start. Um, let me see, I've been there. Yeah, we've seen basically everything. Seven and seven hundred and sixty three postcards. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think this is the highest number of postcards I ever heard about <laughs> during this tour. Yeah, the, for one person, because uh, it happened that uh, we had around 4,600 postcards on this tour. So we'll see later today uh, around 7.30 p.m. when the yesterday on Ego page will be updated on the main uh, page. We'll see how many postcards we will <laughs> we'll have on this tour. Do you know about um, Ego um, yesterday on Ego section where you can have a, an idea on what's the best tour of the day, the most booked tour? Yeah, um, one month ago, uh, I reached we reached because it's uh, it's you that made it uh, 20,000 postcards in three days twenty thousand postcards in three days wow the place is full of bees I hope they won't So 20,000 
postcards in my tours, on my tours, in three days. So I made three uh, tours, one each day, and uh, it was San Pantaleo, Manena Beach uh, tour, and another one, can't remember which one, but uh, 20,000 postcards on my tools only. Um, by the way, I love photography, and uh, uh, I always try to find the best uh, framing and angulation for the shots. So that's why we have so much, so many postcards. Thank you, Jazz. Hello, Sally. And here we are in Main Street. Hello, Patricia. Thanks for joining us. The tour is about to end. I would like to thank you all for the collaboration today, for uh, making this uh, perfect tour. Carol, hello, Lords, welcome. Thank you, Jazz. Muchas gracias, Chaska. Thank you so much for your support, for the tips, for the, the questions, for the comments. Thank you so much, Beata. We still have around, uh, let me check, 30% left uh, before the battery goes. So uh, that would left me around five, five to ten minutes before um, the tour ends. If you have any question or 
And if you also have any request uh, for uh, ideas for new tools, uh, just let me know. And um, if you would like to share your postcards, you can do it contacting me on Instagram. The name of the account is um, Sardinia Explorer, or you can share them on uh, Ego's Voyagers uh, Facebook group. Some of you already shared uh, a lot of pictures from the tools I already made. And uh, another great thing would be uh, a review about this tour or about uh, any other tour that you already did with me. <clears throat> Roses, roses and approaching. Wow. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Jess, for sharing my link. And thank you, Chaska. Thank you so much for your support. We are actually in uh, uh, not central area, so uh, new houses. See, this one is on sale. If you're interested, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Hello, Sius. So I read this morning that uh, the prices are, are rising up in Sardinia for the houses and uh, Porto Cervo is one of the most expensive uh, places in the, in the entire isle, island. So they some this morning I read an article and uh, the price of the house in Porto Cervo is around 7,000 euros per square meter. 7,000 euros per square meter. It's like 20% uh, more than uh, last year's uh, cost. And um, Thank you so much, Marie. Grazie mille. Grazie. Thank you. <laughs> A dog. <laughs> this is for the 
house price. The land here, uh, it's even expensive, more expensive than houses. So you uh, would spend for a square meter in Porto Cervo or around Porto Cervo. The cost could vary from uh, 90,000 to 300 over 300,000 euros per square meter. That's the cost of the land. <clears throat> wow, I see a wonderful plant here. This is Malva Rosa. This is a medicinal plant. really helpful with tummy disorders. You can collect the leaves and boil them and drink the infusion. It's a, we consider quite a sacred plant. Oh, those were beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. Pink. Mary Ellen. Malva. Malva Rosa. M-A-L-V-A -A Rosa. Wow. Wow, this is wonderful. Thanks for following, Helen. Malva Rosa, yeah, perfect, yeah. Can you hear the bees all around? Wow. Spectacular. Well, thank you, people. So uh, I think the battery is quite over now. <clears throat> so again, grazie mille. Thank you very much. I'm really happy about this tour today. A lot of people came by. Hope uh, you all enjoyed it and um, that uh, you will follow me on Ego and on Instagram so that you will be updated uh, whenever I will uh, be about to start a tour and um, see you on the next one, okay? Thank you and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm getting a real good suntan. <laughs> Grazie mille. Ciao. Last view from uh, San Pantaleo. So Malva Rosa. Yeah, Malva Rosa with a modern star, Sardinian style house. <clears throat> Holyhock. Okay. 
good to know I wasn't, I didn't know about the English name. <clears throat> okay, so you, you have it, uh, you have it in your region too. Do you use it? Hello, Flick. Those are modern houses. Yeah, you can find information about how to use it and what uh, is it useful for. Okay, thank you so much everyone, see you soon, okay, stay cool, stay safe and... <laughs>